Uh, honestly, a dream come true coming from the D2, um, the D2 level and playing in a Division One stage, especially at an NBA arena. Uh, definitely was one for the books. Um, when I got out there, I felt really great um, playing with my teammates, being able to get my first Division One win. So officially 61 and one in my college career. So I'm feeling really good about my record, and that's definitely something I want to tell my kids about when I get older. But I'm feeling pretty good. It was a pretty exciting experience. Uh, yeah, he refers to my core vision. Um, since getting my late growth spur, I always had to play the point guard. And then when I shot up to 6'2 to 6'10 within my first year of uh, well, my senior year and then one of my freshman year, my sophomore year, and then growing again when I came here, it's something I always had. So it's like I'm starting to learn my new body now because now like I'm 6'10, so learning how to guard the more physical guys. I'm going to guard now, kind of like somebody I could kind of guard the one through the five. So um, cerebral, just the core vision and be able to put my team in the right spots. like. For instance, and they'll look to JB and the um, lob pass to Malcolm and the skip to David off the zone. That's just stuff that just naturally comes to me since I've been short and then the height just. How much of the zone have you been growing since you got here? Um, I grew an inch. So I went from 6'2 uh, to 6'7 my senior year. Uh, my freshman year, summer, I grew to 6'9 and I came here and now I'm lifted at 6'10 with no shoes on. What kind of things are you doing? Fix that, but like as you're trying to figure out how to guard stronger players, keep your your wiggle, that kind of stuff. What are some things that you're doing to as your body is still continuing to grow? Um, definitely stay in the gym with Coach Penny, and um, obviously with Coach Darby. Uh, coming to this level, there's so many resources to keep your body in line. Like you have massage therapist, chiropractor, and dietitian. There's so much resources for you to always, you know, take that next step. So um, in terms of that, just Coach Darby and Coach Penny and all the assistant coaches that. Um, put time into me, so that's how. How are you finding your bearings? Just because this is a big jump from D two to, to high level D one, and it seem seem like you're playing all right, but just in general, all of this, how are you? Getting um, I definitely say it was a struggle at first coming here because um, I've been living in South Florida my whole life and going to school literally 20 minutes away from my home. So when I came here, I wasn't fit. Like I think I was physically prepared, but not mentally prepared. Like just a new environment, um, not having that many friends. I feel like all that kind of took a toll. But um, honestly, I kind of developed some brothers here within JQ, David Jones, Raquan. And I feel like now I'm starting to like, it came a little bit late because the coaches are starting to see what I could really do now. Because I'm starting to be locked in with myself and I got used to the environment. So as things start to, as things start to um, progress, like I just had in a, like one of my best practices in a while. So I think my production is going to go up. It should take some time. But knowing me and my work ethic and the resources I have here, I have no problem finding time on the court pretty soon. You were, part, you were a central part of the group that last year went undefeated and got you know, a Division II national championship. What kind of qualities did you see in that team and do you think this Memphis team can be those? Um, the qualities, uh, brotherhood. It all starts with that. Like the guys, like we're hanging outside of the court, um, going to battle for each other. Um, just the little things like communicating. Uh, and we played as a team. Like. One night I might have 25, the other night he might have 20. And it's all about enjoying those little wins for each other and being happy for each other. And uh, I definitely see that here. Like David Jones had 17, our first exhibition game. And then he had a pretty good game the next game. And then Jaquan popped off for 19. So there's always going to be different people. There's so much talent on this team. So being able to find that continuity to put it all together, uh, I definitely see that here. And it's starting to really form into something nice. And we're not supposed to really supposed to be playing our best basketball till that March, but right now we're it's starting to pick up really nice, and I'm starting to see what I've seen at Nova. It's really coming nicely, honestly. So you think with all the talent and all the offensive explosives, y'all might take the defense for granted a little bit because you got a sort of explosive offensive end, you just so dynamic offensively, that you might just take uh, off the defensive end this week? Um, coming here, I mean, I mean, I've been preached defense my entire life, especially at the Division Two level, full court pressing for 40 minutes. Um, we are very explosive offensively here. But what you've seen from Memphis basketball in terms of what Coach Penny wants, um, that first game we just played wasn't really us. Like, we're letting people dribble the ball up. We're not denying. We're not being a dog out there. Um, so that's definitely going to pick up. Like, even though we're going to be explosive on, de on offense, we're absolutely going to be 10 times more explosive on defense because that's going to create our offense. So definitely believe in that type of culture you're running here. What do you feel like you can do to help this team out? 
Um, I think people are pretty shocked that I'm this tall and I'm able to make certain passes. So now if I have the big on me and I'm able to move the way I move, I'm able to look off defense as now people like David Jones or Jaquan Walton that might not have the vision I have, that's just easy. Catch and shoot, taking a load off those guys. Now JQ can probably get off the ball. Um, so I would say being able to push the ball, giving JQ some um, some time off the ball, hitting him up so he can get some threes, get some rhythm going. So that for my cerebral vision is something that would really help this team come to one. You mentioned kind of everybody filling a role and coming together. Obviously at your last school, I think it was you and RJ, is it Sunara? Mm-hmm. He's at Georgia now. The two stars of that team. Has that been an adjustment going from being a, you know, top one, two option, whatever, to now you're still filling a key role, but having to fill a role versus being a star? Um, I feel like everybody does have roles. Um, I'm, I feel like I can do a lot of things, and I'm starting to show that now. Um, ask that question one more time so I can fully process that yeah. one more time. I'm saying going from being a star at your last school to filling a role here, has that been an adjustment? Um, it's been an adjustment, but uh, I'm, always, I'm a willing passer. I'm always a team player. I'm always making the extra passes. I'm not the type of guy that needs to go score 20. Like, I could just expect like, the game just like, oh, my goodness, he made a nice pass to one more for a teammate. And that right there, that just brings the team together because um, to go back on that, my role right now would, be, would say is being the guy that could bring everybody together because no disrespect to my other teammates, but I do feel like I'm the best passer on this team. And I think I'll be able to, you know, bring everybody together in terms of, like, David, you know he wants to get the shots up. So one more or Jaquan in the corner or JB mid-major play of the year, getting the ball in the post. I feel like we miss him a lot. But me, I'm the 6'9", all I gotta do is throw it to him. Other guys might not see that. So I think bringing the team together in terms of everybody scoring prowess, I could fill those voids. Because I don't really need a score to affect the game. So. As, you, as you prepare for Missouri, what has stood out to you that you guys did for Friday? Um, what stood out to me uh, watching the film is the level of toughness we're gonna have to bring. Um, we're, not gonna be able to, we're not gonna be without our leader, Coach Penny. So. Um, what really just stood out is the level of intensity we're going to have to play. Can't come out like Jackson State, come out like obviously we're a more talented team, but we're proud to play at SEC school. So just coming out there with a lot of energy, high intensity, and everybody's got to be engaged. So um, pretty excited for that. And we just got to come out and play Memphis basketball and really buy into the culture that Coach Penny has set for us. It's a winning culture. If literally 15 people buy in, like we're literally talking about a national championship. Like, I've seen it after my first two years at Nova, literally going back to almost back-to-back -back national championships. Like I've seen what it, it looks like. And like if you listen to what he says, especially with his NBA-like system, with the talent we have right now, it's literally talking national championship if we all buy in.